hospital and uh, one day I was in the dream somebody told me that I have HIV so I decided to come to Nigeria to look for a solution I was I just stepped into the yard in our yard where I was living at Olodu, in Olodu Papa. a sister was talking about this menace the Lord chosen so I stood and began to listen to the sister later I entered into the room and met the sister again she told me and took, brought me here so when I came here I was doing unusual I was seeing unusual things power was moving and our G.O. then our daddy sometimes we drew a line he said if you pass this line no matter the mountain that that mountain will never succeed so uh, we'll escape we will not escape the power of God and the testimonies and uh, sometimes we come out and say today I don't want to pray but as we laugh five times that HIV, 50 people will receive HIV healing today. It was happening that, that if you begin to watch that statement one by one, you will see that 50 people giving that testimony. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened. That is true. Correct. So I, one day, because of the HIV, uh, my body, the haze in my body has died. Hmm. So one day, Jesus said, today, you will receive, it will refresh spiritually and physically. Immediately I look at my hand, I saw those heads that are dead. They stood up and became, hey. became strong. Hey, hey. So that convinced me. Power. So, though that period, September, October, I did not receive healing. So I have to go back to Cote d'Ivoire. There was a program organized like this program now, titled Hope for the Needy, 29th, 30th November 2003. So I was in the program. So the yoke of at HIV was broken in that program. Can we clap on to God on the Tuesday? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So because of that healing, I loved our daddy. I loved the minister. I loved God. And God began to give me dreams and revelation concerning this minister. I saw our daddy one day in the sea. He was with an engine boat. That is stick boat. It was not flying boat, engine boat. So he came to me and said, drive this boat. And after I began to hear a series of uh, voices, liftings of the world and follow the things of God, then I became the house care leader. One day after ministering in the house care fellowship, an angel came to me and told me to go to Bible school. So that is how then they have given me pulpit 2005. I came and joined the Morgan's Bible Institute 2006. And uh, after the Bible, uh, uh, the after when I graduated there, I met our daddy at the old auditorium. He gave me money to go back to Cote d'Ivoire. In Cote d'Ivoire, I pastored in Cote d'Ivoire. Later, I was taken to Togo. From Togo, I was taken to Mali. And from Mali, I was taken to the Jet Republic. So I just came back from the Jet Republic. And I'm Let one of the national coordinators in this ministry today. Clap on to God on the choosing. For exploits and victory. So I want to use this opportunity to pray for, appreciate God for what God is using our daddy to do. If not this ministry today, I would have been in the grave. I thank God. I appreciate God. I give all the glory unto God in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our daddy and his family that no way of fashion against them shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Then I pray that this threefold vision and ten billion so mandate will be fulfilled in the very eyes of our G.O. and his family, our daddy and his family in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all the chosen brethren all over the world, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my, my, my wife. I, my children, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for reminding us of some of the great miracles of God of choosing. In the days of HIV, indeed, when everywhere we are shaking, the place was shaking because of HIV. It was killed in this place. The pastor of Jesus killed the spirit of HIV. As he said, sometimes the pastor will say, laugh three times. All the carriers of HIV. Go for test from here. And then suspend fellowship, we see 27 people, 50 people coming to testify that they went to test and their positive became negative. In this very time again of COVID pandemic, pastor also prayed and killed the spirit of COVID-19. 
and destroyed it. And as we are aware, God has proved that his word has killed HIV and all over the world. People call in in isolation centers and as soon as he prays, all of them are discharged. So many, some of them, families. Remember the one in Sweden? A code of your person married a, a Swedish woman. Himself, his wife, and children tested the positive COVID-19. In isolation center, connected to GEO, GEO prayed. All that day, all of them were discharged from isolation center. So, what are all this is meaning? We don't know your case or your situation. Have you entered this place? Whatever it is, God will discharge you today and set you free in Jesus' name. Clap on to God and I appreciate the clap on to the God of the chosen. The next test is fire. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is uh, Brother Patrick Pine. I'm from, I came from Abuja. I joined Chosen on the 14th of February, 2021. Chosen, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. So I, yesterday, uh, why I came up here yesterday, uh, the servant of the Most High God, our Jew, prophesied and declared that there is somebody here with uh, issue of diabetes, constant urinating, and I've been suffering from this for over five years from now. To say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And after his de uh, pro prophecy and declaration that that person will urinate only once tonight, Within myself, I thought, how could this thing be possible? Could it mean? I don't think it's possible. But that is that what happened in my life? I read it only once throughout the night. Just Clap on to God on the Tuesday. Thank you, Father. How many times were you urinating the night before last night? <laughs> my brother, after uh, more than five, six times, seven times. Every the time I go to bed. Every night. Every night. For every the night. past five years. Every night. Every night. And now, Pastor prayed yesterday, and you are afraid. Exactly. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Just impress the Lord. Hallelujah. At this point, uh, I wish our general overseer, heaven at last, the chosen one, heaven at last, myself and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Let's clap unto God. I appreciate Him. I've lost the count of people that we are healed of frequent urinating and diabetes yesterday. Between you and me, we saw many that have testified already. Begin to get ready and position yourself. It will not be long. The person will be coming to the pulpit again. Your matter will be addressed. And you too will testify in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, my name is Elizabeth Ukwai. I pastor mentioned my case too yesterday. That there are people here that urinate severally in the night. And... When you get home, you only urinate once. And when I got home, I discovered that instead of urinating up to five times in the night, I urinated only once. I want to return the glory Thank to God. you, Father. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Hallelujah. How long have you been suffering from that? Uh, for the past three years. Three but I years. just thought maybe because I drink too much. Until he prayed yesterday and I saw the result, I knew that it was an arrow. Hmm. So when was your first time in the lost choosing? Yesterday. Yesterday was the very first time. Yeah. And now that affliction is gone. Yes. I want to ask the church again, though that we are here yesterday, I asked it at the beginning. But well, this kind of miracle needs to you know, be celebrated and uh, you glorified. Did you hear when Pastor mentioned this case yesterday? If you had it yesterday, can you shout hallelujah? Yeah, it's not only me or her or the people that testify. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. Clap to this great God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Mary Okafo. I joined Chosen in the year 2006. Chineke me woka anya miri goro mochi. Oh, meleka, oniro we puri hele la. Akamdeku, owe la kaya bulye menu. Onyo lwe bube, 
akamoji lelu nare kele obo tere nura memu ma god o chuse obo tere nura ba mo gara ya ebu be ni pe obo tere nura ba mo gara ya o ya mere nka ni mu nare kele mu thank you father thank you god o chuse thank you lord my brethren if you are poor here sit tight and hear my testimony hmm. if people have rejected you family have rejected you friends have rejected you sit tight and hear my own testimony hey <laughs> my own testimony is a testimony of a woman that is living among the poor and the poor called me poor hey my testimony is a testimony of from poverty to stupendous riches power i like to hear that again hey <laughs> have you introduced your name and your address please yes my name is sister mary okafo Yeah. I stay at number 13 Coast Street. I stay at number 12 Giwa Street, Ilubeju. I am from Ilubeju branch of the Lord Chosen. <laughs> chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I joined Chosen in the year 2006. It happens that my younger sister seeing our condition, she will always come to me and say come and join Chosen. There is a church because i i repented when i was a youth so she will come and tell me come and join i know if you join these people now you will become a worker i was in deeper life but i married in four square so i was going to four square when she was telling me all these things my children were sick and it happens that there is no food to eat hmm Using praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was working in a company and it came to a time I resigned because the pay was not enough. I carried my I just when I resigned, I went on that bridge at Ikeja and I begin to make phone calls. I live in a yard that is called, face me I slap you. <laughs> If you have lived in that kind of yard, you will know what I'm talking about. Imagine that a woman will stand up and call me. This kind of poverty they call is not the one they call. She will stand up. We are living in upstairs. Face me, I slap you. She will come to the corridor and start saying, "Poor, poor, poor, poverty." She was referring to me. Hmm. Men and brethren, when she will start saying this, I will run inside. I borrowed a lot. I I borrowed Maggi to cook. I borrowed onions to cook. I used 50 naira to make a pot of soup. I used 100 naira to make a pot of soup. Soup. And I want to tell you, even in that position, I go to the woman that because the woman that is selling is is choosing. I will go to her and I will buy on credit. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I hope you are seeing the level of my own poverty. Hmm. It happens that. I started coming to choosing after that my sister told me that that my sister is not a choosing but she had delay in pregnancy but when she comes here she will carry her baby and she will go she has four kids now uh, she's not a choosing yes sir but she told you to go to choosing yes sir <laughs> so it happened that I, when i started choosing when i started coming i had the undiluted word of god I had that from I had from our GO that from here is a miniature kingdom that we will enjoy here and will go to heaven because all the sermon that I've been hearing before is even if you didn't make it when you go to heaven you will enjoy because he gave us that faith that when we are here we can enjoy here and from here we we'll go to heaven chosen praise the lord hallelujah I started that business of phone call on that bridge. When I started it from there, me and my husband from there, we started selling recharge card. In the morning my husband 
will go this way, me, I will go the other way. Sometimes he will be hawking phone, he hawk the church car. But I want to tell you that when we are doing that, every Thursday I am here. Every Thursday I am here and when I come to Thursday fellowship, I am not in a haste to go. After the fellowship, I will open my bag. I normally come with wrapper. I will just pray wrapper and lie down and sleep in the evening. I will go. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are aware that whosoever that is drunk in a bar doesn't just pass by. If you are drunk, it means that you tarried. So I tarried in the presence of the Lord. I, oh, I'm always here. So it happens that at a time when I started sending that recharge uh, uh, card, somebody came and started giving me phone to sell. I started selling phone. From selling phone, you know, Fashola came and destroyed uh, Ikeja. Those that are selling on the street. Then I went to Arena. When I got to Arena, I, the only thing there, there is no kind of, that kind of business in Arena then. What they are selling was clothes. So I joined somebody, I learned the trade. But before you know it, the person was going to China. So I asked them, how much does it take to go to China? And they were, you know, that man had the, the money. But as God may have it, another person now told me that with two million naira, you can go to China and buy whatever you want to buy. But, you know, I have that kind of money. I said, what am I doing? How I prepared and traveled to China. Hmm. Hmm. Clap on to God. The miracle has started. Thank you, Father. Just Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I forget, before this thing started, one of the Thursdays I came, I was crying, I was weeping and weeping, and our Geo said, when he mounted the pulpit, he said, Sister, why are you crying? Hmm. Why are you crying? The blessing that my God is going to bless you, no man is going to bring you down. Hey. And when he was saying it, I know that he was talking to me. So that was how the blessing started. I tell you, one of the years that my husband followed Gio to every crusade that he went to the nations. He was following him, I tell you, this thing is sacrifice. You, when you are committed in the things of the Lord, because when you come here, you will hear continuation brings freedom. Yes. As you are here today, do not say that maybe uh, I must get it today. Continue, our God will do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens that when I started selling the clothes, I find out that what is raining is spaghetti hand and bum short. I cannot sell such. So I packed my things, I, I refused to sell because whenever I go to China, I will bring clothes. And they will start to mock me, they will say, ah, Mother Chuzi, 14 hours going, 14 hours coming, you will go and buy choosing clothes. Another one will say, Chuzi is having crusade, though. go and give them, they will buy. Another one will say, Chuzi people will not even buy. Chuzi, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was the mockery that I was facing. At the time, I packed it up and I, I stayed for like two years. I started traveling again. And God connected me to this white man hmm. that I'm doing business with. Joseph, praise the Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. Before you know it, container started coming. Hey. Containers. Power every week. Yes. Every sir. week. Yes. Oh sir. God of choosing. Clap on to this great God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. And in Arena, I have over 30 shops. 
Say that again. In Arena, I have over 30 shops. Over 30 shops. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Father. Jose, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when I went around this year to check this uh, stock and balances, I found out that I made business of over a billion naira. Power! On the higher level, on the higher level, choosing is on the higher level. Be a chosen, I move higher. Be a chosen, oh, I move higher. I say, be a chosen, I move higher. Chosen. On the higher level, on the higher level, choosing is on the higher level. Be a chosen, I move higher. Be a chosen. No, I move. Back. Let them be a choosing. Clap onto this great God and appreciate Him massively. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choose Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have come to give God all the praise. And look at me that is cooking with 50 naira. I want to ask you, women that are here. And you are saying that you are poor. Have you cooked with 50 naira before? Just to tell you the level of poverty that I was in. And now, I said when I started that the poor called me poor. Hmm. Now, I am living among the blessed. And the blessed called me blessed. Power! Hey! 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 hey. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for choosing Choose it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I have an advice to give to you newcomers. I want to say that choosing is a laundress shop. When you come, it depends on the stain on your clothes. There are some detergents that are made for strong stains. Hmm. You can come, immediately you are washed, you are clean. You can come, you needed high pole to wash before you are clean. So you need to stay put until the right agent is applied to you. Hey! Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. These things I'm saying, time will fail me, men and brethren, because so many things happen. I was asked to be brief. Time will fail me to tell you that it took a lot of time. I was coming, I was consistent. I didn't look back because I know that God is here. Hmm. Even at a time, my colleagues in the market, they said, I, I took the white man's name to our geo to pray. That yes. is why the white man is facing only me. Hmm. Chose a praise hmm. the Lord. Hallelujah. But it is not my fault. God is resident in chosen. Hmm. It is not our fault. So I want to tell you, you stay put because God is going to do all things. He will make all things beautiful at his own time. I want to return all the glory to our Lord Jesus Christ, all the glory to the God of chosen. I return all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration unto him, the maker of the miracle. I say, let him receive all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you one of the secrets of these things that are happening. Mm -hmm. I am a giver. I give anyhow. Hmm. Even wait for the pastor to say it. Even this crusade, when he said that he's going to make place today, I said to myself, What's the need if he make place today? Is it going to be used for the crusade? I know there are other things in the house, but I want my own money to be used for fuel. So I quickly paid into the church account. Hmm. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And even today, I am still going to sow. So I want to tell you, sowing is the main thing. Pay your tithe and you sow. Let me tell you, even in those days of hunger, every day I come, every Thursday that I come here, I normally sow seed. I was sowing 500. At the time, I started sowing 1,000. But I will not tell you what I'm sowing now. I am still sowing seed now, every Thursday that I'm here. Hmm. The secret is sowing of seed. 
Love brethren, give to brethren, give to whom they ask of you. Joseph, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my Jew. Daddy, I love you so much. Thank you, Father. And I'm forgetting something. The last time I met, the first time I met with our daddy, he prayed for me. And after that prayer, there's one thing that used to happen in my heart. I didn't tell him anything. He just prayed. And that thing left me. Chose to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was the miracle I got that day. And I want to tell you that our Father in the Lord is anointed by the Lord. Hmm. You need to stay put. Don't go anywhere. God will bring it to pass. Chose to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray for my daddy in the Lord. I ask God to give you the gift of men. Amen. Men that have like passion. Hmm. Men that will follow this vision with you. Mm. Every plan of the enemy concerning you, concerning your wife, concerning your children, concerning your grandchildren, concerning everything that concerns you. Are they coming from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, from the water, from up or from down? I release upon them Holy Ghost! Fire! As the mountain is round about Jerusalem, so is the Lord around you in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all the choosing worldwide, myself and my family, heaven at last. And I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Choosing is first class. Thank you, Father. Great testimony there. Lifting you from poverty, from downhill. And setting you among the princes. That is the word of God. This is where every word of God is put into practice. According to the pastor of choosing. He said it's not a theory. It has to be in practice. He said otherwise he will not be there. He will not be part of it. That if word of God is preached. The power must be seen and visible. The Bible says that he rested. That is God. Raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift the need out of dunghill that he may set him with the princes, even with the princes of his people. That's what you get prosperity extraordinary. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. I've been told that some of our sisters are using their bags. To occupy seats and chairs. We want to plead with you. Please, you know, remove those bags and place them under your own chair so that other people will have seats. We are doing everything to see how we can bring more seats. But the information is that every place is overflowing. Our happiness and joy is that no matter the overflow, let it overflow to the express. Everyone we go home today with miracles unspeakable in Jesus' name. I hope we remember that Apostle said yesterday that we should write uh, how many prayer points? Twelve prayer points. That's what the Apostle said. He said, write twelve prayer points. Get it ready. Because after the program, you'll be marking them one by one. Praise the Lord. We'll continue with testimony now, but if you are the owner of this vehicles. We need you to go and repack. We plead with you. This is um, a red, a red matrix Toyota car. Red matrix, red in color. Number is KRD 343AY. KRD 343AY. We also have another Toyota Corolla ash color. Number is FK7, FKJ 797DR. Toyota Corolla ash color. FKJ 797DR. Please, you, you parked at, across the canal. We need you to please go and repack. The next testifier. Okay, sorry. Chimoka Lolo Malaga Magua, you are in Mahajulanyo Mahaju. 
Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I came to choosing fully in the year 2008. But my first visit was Abuja 2006. They come here to have minded and all. But in 28, I became a choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for choosing for what he did in my family. As long as I live on earth, I will give this testimony anywhere, anytime, and anywhere I see myself. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened on the 16th of March, 2021. This year? Yes, sir. In the evening, around 6 p.m., I was at home because I came for morning service. So in the evening, I was at home. This my younger brother standing beside me called me on phone. And he said, sis, there is a problem. I said, what happened? He said he traveled to the village with some of our, our relatives that came back from uh, Indonesia. So he traveled with them to the village. Because those ones, they are having issues with some of other people they are staying together over there. So when they came back, they want to reconcile. So all of them go down to travel to the village for reconciliation. So from the reconciliation, fight started. And the result of the fight, somebody fell. And every other person ran away. And he's only one standing. Because he doesn't know his way around. We are not born in the village. And he was caught. And they said, you have killed somebody. They took him to the Igwe Palace. From the Igwe Palace, he was taken to the police station. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They uncuffed him and put him in the cell. When he called me, I told him, declare who you are that you were choosing. The God of my pastor is in control. I quickly sent a message to my daddy, that's instinct. I said, daddy, please help me and pray for my younger brother. And I narrated the story. And I have a belief that he made that prayer. On the next day, being the 17th of March, on Wednesday, I woke up in the morning. I wasn't feeling too well. I don't know how strange feeling. I told my elder sister. I said, sister, I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm having strange feeling. That something strange wants to happen. It's something like what? I said, I'm having a feeling that my younger brother will be killed in that police cell. He said, how can you say something like that? I said, I'm having this feeling. And I asked me, is there any choosing branch around our area? I said, yes. It's okay, let's go. I said, we went to my branch, every one at Ikotso. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We went to my branch, we knelt down in the altar. I and my senior sister. We started praying and asking God for nothing but mercy. We started asking God to show mercy that even if my brother is killed, that he will not die. We started praying to God, reminding God of the things he has been doing in this ministry. Reminding God of numerous testimony that he has done. We have had it. That our own is not going to be an exception. That he will do it for us. As a result of that prayer, we made a vow. And saw a little seed in the altar. And the vow we made is, goes like this. We tell God of choosing that if he saved my brother's life, that we are going to force him to serve you. Hmm. That we are going to let him serve you. That he will serve you as long as, as he lives. After we made the vow, we went home. Getting home, my uncle that is in the village was to go to the police station where he's being detained. He said he wants to transfer the case to either 3 3 on the child or Oka because this thing happened in Anambra State. 
Unfortunately, him getting to that station, he called us and said he has gone. But it's unfortunate that he could not meet him again. That the police people said that those people, there those other people came and took him away from the police cell to unknown place. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By then we know there is a trouble. Then the one that the senior him direct called me and said, Sister, they have killed Israel. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said that they have, they have killed Israel. I wanted to cry. But something came in me. I said, no. Israel will not die. I know I have made a prayer. And people doesn't die like that. That death is not that cheap. That Israel will not die. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, my dad called our uncle in the village. and said, go and search for him. They started searching for him in, that, in the bush. And they saw him inside the bush where his dead body was lying. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He was brutally murdered. They scattered his cord with an ass. Hmm. The head was scattered. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. That's what we are seeing on the screen now. Terrible. Hmm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And our brother that saw him there, they took him carried him to the hospital the first hospital rejected the second one rejected him but the third one says it's 50 50. a surgery was conducted on him i said even if he survived that he will not know anything again because he affected they touched his brain they did so many things choosing praise the lord hallelujah and from that day that they did that operation to, uh, that that day that thing happened was on 17th he was on coma from that seven, that 17th of March till on 2nd of April. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when he now told me that when he woke up, because only thing we know that he made a call that he had a problem, we could not hear from him again. He said, when they came to talk him from the police station, this now happened when he started talking, when he recognized himself, that he was taken from that police cell, they put him in their boots. And in that boot, he made a prayer. And the prayer goes like this. He said, he said, Father, have mercy upon me. I know I am a sinner. Cast my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. And let my soul rest in peace. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But at that moment, he know that this thing he sees is dead. Hmm. And they went and killed him. Immediately they finished their own. Angel of my pastor appeared. Power. Hey, 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 let's know what happened now. Our daddy appeared with a file in his hand. He said himself he was wearing only bosses. He was like frustrated, asking what am I doing? Daddy came and called him my good friend. Come, let us go. Hmm. And daddy took him with a file in his hand. They went to a road, nothing like hold up. And they got to the first office. Daddy asked him to wait for him in that first office and daddy went to the second office and there was a change of a file daddy dropped the file he had and took another file and came out and gave me a white garment hey. so praise the lord hallelujah and they gave him a white garment he was now putting on white garments from that 17th daddy took him to his house he said he was staying at daddy's house that the house was sparkling white in that place, there was no morning, no night. And that was where he was staying. Eating apple. Daddy was giving him apple to eat. Choosing mm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the doctor that did the operation said it's 50-50. That even if he survives, he's not going to know anything. So on the 2nd of April, say Daddy came and said, My good friend, you have to go. Your, fr your people are waiting for you. It's time for you to go home. And daddy came out with a Sienna. On 29, when I was coming to Tuesday service, I saw daddy Sienna coming. I myself did not know that that is daddy Sienna. He was one that said, see, this is daddy coming. I, he said, you don't even know daddy Sienna. I said, I don't even know that he's daddy. He said, that was the Sienna daddy converted him to the hospital. Hey! But before daddy took him to the hospital, 
He wanted to enter. It's one of our sisters, he showed me here is the central choir. He was telling me, who is this sister? That this sister was singing for him in the spirit train. The sister came before the daddy took him to the hospital. And the sister was singing for him. The song goes thus. You are in the number. You are in the number. You are in the number. Say by his grace. You are in the number. You are in the number. You are in the number. Say by his grace. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And after then, he entered the Siena that he took him to the hospital and show him the particular world where his body is lying. Say, enter there, your family is waiting for you. Come and meet me at Ijesha. I will bless you and I will favor you. Hmm. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person, the doctor said that even if he survived, he's not going to know anything. They killed him and put the picture on the WhatsApp platform and say he's dead. And truly he died. Daddy took him to his house and gave him a second chance to live. Hmm. I am here to return the glory to this God of my pastor. The great I am that I am. The beginning and the end. The first and the last God. He is that has the final say. He never failed me. He answered our prayer and he brought Israel back to life. Hmm. Israel was gone. Come to let's visit people. We are coming to tell my mommy and my daddy sorry. But here he is today. Hey, see the, hair, see the man. Hey, there, there was a oppression on his head. They did oppression and they said he will not know anything. Hey. Israel knows everything. Power. He does not lose his senses. Power. He knows everything. Not take time for God of my pastor to hear him. God delivered him and give him a second life to live. Father. I return the glory to you. Thank you, Father. I give you all the praises. Thank you, as Lord. As long as I live, begin to earth, clap unto I God in a special way. I give to generation on board. I appreciate this great I God. I will tell the world what this Thank God you, of my past has done. I will testify all the days of my life. Life is what we cannot buy with money. God did it for us. Who am I? The God of my past has answered me. Father, take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for my daddy. Daddy, I am not worthy to pray for you. But I pray that he that calls you is able to keep you to the end. He will never fail. Amen. Father, we keep you and preserve you. Amen. He will keep everything that has to do with you. Daddy, you will not know sorrow. Amen. Because I will not know sorrow. Your generation will not know sorrow. Amen. Your children, children will not know sorrow. Amen. It shall be well with you. You will finish well in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our lovely mommy, who is always by you. God will give her all the grace she needs. Amen. God will protect her. Amen. No man or woman will take her position in her daddy's life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover my daddy's family with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for my daddy and everything that has to do with him. His children, children, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for me and my family, heaven at last. All the chosen worldwide heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. And so can cover my testimony with the blood of blood Jesus. Of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let your brother say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Reconfirm. Reconfirm. That you are the person your sister spoke about. You are the person we are seeing in yeah. that video clip. Yeah, sure, it's me, sir. You are the person. Yeah, yeah, this is my head. It's me, sir. I really thank God for giving me a second chance. Hmm. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. Yeah, if you still have, uh, are you there? If you still have anything to say, please speak. No, I mean the brother, the brother and the sister. If you still have anything to say, please come, come back, come back. If you have anything to say, any of the testimony area to 
um, kind of uh, revalidate or uh, expatiate on. Can you please speak? Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, uh, I really thank God because I don't know what happened. I only saw myself inside the boot. So I knew it was all over. So, but I pleaded for mercy. And indeed, God showed me mercy. Hmm. Thank you, Father. All I could remember was I saw myself stranded with boxers. And uh, our daddy in the Lord, our G.O. came and said, My good friend, let's go. And I followed him. So, he took me to an office where we entered the first one. I was about to enter the second one. He asked me to wait. He entered and he exchanged the file in his hand. Hmm. So he came out and said, let's go. He gave me a new cloth. That was how my name, I was in the number. I was, my name was in the choosing number. Hmm. I really thank God. Thank you, Father. I really thank God. Thank you, God of choosing. I really thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Even if you die and you are choosing, you will come back to life. Pastor decreed and declared that no choosing will die prematurely. Say every choosing must fulfill his or her age. Praise the Lord. That was a very great testimony, deliverance that can only be done by God of choosing. So rejoice because you too that are here, you are in the number. And from today going forward, no evil will near you in Jesus' name. After this particular test fire that is on the podium, we are going to take our first offering today. As usual, we normally take two offerings, one above this time and then the last one towards the closing. So get ready with your offering, your tithe, your seed of faith, and whatever you want to use to bless the name of the Lord. And I want to urge you to remain in high expectation, in very high expectation. Because this is your day, it's your program. So after today, people will begin to ask you, where did you go? And you will tell them what? I went to the Lord's choosing. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for making me and my family chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Bro Robert. I joined Chosen 2005. I came from South Korea. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for granting me Johnny Mercy all the way from South Korea to Nigeria. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God and I appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. After our Moody program this year, and uh, I left Nigeria on 3rd of February, arriving in South Korea 4th of February, on my arrival at the airport, they tested me coronavirus and they said that I tested positive chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, they took me to isolation camp. Hmm. So our program was on 6th and 7th. And after our program on 6th and 7th, which I keyed in, and uh, also Tuesday, Revival Hour, and also on Thursday, Council and Deliverance. After our daddy ministration on Thursday service, and he prayed. After his prayer, he said we should uh, ask God for threatens. 
And my first prayer point was, God, I want to leave this place, this isolation camp. My second prayer point, God, I want to leave this place. Third prayer point, God, I want to leave this place. <laughs> so on Friday, I received a test from uh, coronavirus task force team. And they said, due to Saturday and Sunday, they are not working. They say, you are leaving here on Monday. <laughs> and that is how they released me, chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This ministration, you were in South Korea. Yes, sir. So you followed online. Yes, sir. The ministration of our pastor here. Yes, sir. On Tuesday, Thursday. Yes, sir. And you were released on Friday. Yes, sir. Clap on to God of the chosen and appreciate him. Clap to this great God. Thank you, Father. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to also thank God. I received a letter from so mayor. You know, here in Nigeria, we have uh, state governors. There we have province and uh, we have mayor. And I received a letter from so mayor that they have sealed our church. In South Korea? Yes, sir. Our, they have sealed our church. So, but then I was still in a selection camp. And after some time, I received another letter that read that they have dispatched a team that are going to see the church. So after some time again, I received a letter now. They are now apologizing, saying that they are sorry for the letter. Hmm. That uh, they are sorry for the inconvenience that the letter was wrongly sent. Praise the Lord. Clap on to God of the Tuesday. That means they didn't see the church again. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Father. That, uh, that is the handwork of God of choosing. Choosing, yeah. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my third testimony, I want to thank God. I never prayed or wished to be a pastor, but today God made me a pastor. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I never prayed or wished to be a coordinator, but today God made me a coordinator. Choosing, praise the Lord. I was only praying that God will make me one of the financial pillars of the Lord choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. As I, choosing, praise the Lord. So as I was praying that prayer, one day I was in a dream, and uh, our daddy, the angel that appears with the face of our daddy, was coming from a foreign trip, and uh, we came to welcome him. You know, like as I'm traveling, I have three luggages. One is 32 kilo, and the other one is 23, 23. So in one of those, in, in that dream, the angel had to release one of the luggages to me, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then when I shared the testimony with one of our pastors, he said that I, I have a ministry in this ministry, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, it's a long testimony, but I just cut it short. So last year, I don't know how God put it in my mouth. I begin to tell my brethren that I want to buy a private jet for our daddy. Choosing praise hey. the Lord. Hey. And since last year, both in our Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, I've been sharing it as a testimony. In South Korea? Yes, sir. Even hmm. last Tuesday, because I left South Korea last Thursday, even last Tuesday, as I was ministering to them, I told them that the only thing that will hinder me from giving testimony is only if God will carry our aircraft and enter heaven. But as long as our aircraft will land, that I will not be hinder me from giving this testimony, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I came and I start sharing this testimony with testimony of viewers, and they told me that uh, somebody, okay, I'm, I'm missing something, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this thing happened last year. So this year, in April, one day I went to church. As I was waiting for my brethren, I said, let me get in online. And uh, I had moderator, and the moderator that was uh, moderating that day was Pastor Matt Bolaji. And he was talking about aircraft. And when I did the pulpit, he began to pray. 
and he say you that is in overseas and you say that you will buy this aircraft that God will bless you hmm. and hmm. when God blesses you don't forget it choosing praise the Lord hey. Hallelujah. so I was the only one in the church I started shouting like a madman that is me oh that is me oh that is me oh so when I came back and as I was sharing this testimony they told me that uh, somebody has already pledged 1.6 million praise the Lord Hallelujah. but I know that this is my testimony and uh, I'm the one that uh, God has put it in his mouth and uh, now I decided to pledge six times of what that brother pledged choosing praise the Lord Hallelujah. so the brother choosing praise the Lord Hallelujah. The brother pledged 1.6, so I'm pledging 10 million. To power, praise the Lord. power, power. Can we clap unto God? I appreciate this great God. Thank you, Father. It is done. To praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when I was in South Korea, and as I was sharing this testimony, I brethren like uh, another dreamer has come. To hmm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But when I told them today that today is the D day, one of our brother Brady, he has pledged one million naira. To praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One of our pastor and Tonditon branch, Pastor Clinton, has pledged five hundred thousand. Hey. Another of our pastor and Santan branch has pledged fifty thousand. Hmm. And another of our moderator has pledged hundred thousand. Even he has sent the money. To praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I you say you pledged how much? 10 million. 10 million. Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, my brethren, I uh, see myself privileged. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God can travel two days or 19 hours and put it in my mouth to come and uh, buy private jet for our church evangelism. And uh, we say that we are first class. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we first class? Yes, love. So yes. we say we are first class. But uh, I've seen so many general overseers, even those that uh, has only 50,000 mandates. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 100,000 mandates. They have two jets. They have three. Mm. But our daddy that has 10 billion, hey. every, every time he's saying that he's missing flight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I was troubled. And that, I think that's the reason why God put it in my mouth hmm. to do this. Hmm. So I receive, I, I return all glory to God. And I appreciate him for giving me this privilege. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm praying for our daddy and our mommy and the family. That God will grant them their heart desire in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony and my family with blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we clap unto God and appreciate Him? Clap unto God and appreciate Him. This is the doing of the Lord. I have not had the Jew of the choosing any day. Personally, I'm speaking for myself. I've not had him any day say he wants to buy aircraft. But God is seeing the burden of the challenge in his heart. The G of the choosing, Pastor of choosing, has a 10 billion souls mandate. He wants to be like if he can preach in 1,000 places in a day. And so, it's God that is putting it in the heart of people. 